millennials and generations younger than us, we're used to interacting online on this software and students pick it up really quickly and start sharing it with each other. JS and the community went hand in hand because our community is 99% Latino and over 50% of those Latinos are immigrants. What GIS offered was a third language. Why wouldn't you want to use something that's going to enhance their learning so much quicker and, and is also something that they can manipulate and explore learning on their own. Why is this called a recycling plant if it's spewing 7 million pounds of lead while trying to recycle car batteries? And thankfully GIS was there to help us visualize and contextualize the problem. Even if my project was a failure, as long as they knew what was happening, that was a success to me. It's very impressive for me every day to use GIS and to turn over a problem to my students and to have them come back with amazing answers to the issues that we face today.